a little workout out of it. Make a little workout. What's up? It's your girl, Morgan Roy. <laughs> Cole Hobbs. Hobbs. Ask him if he wants to go on a walk. You can't say it. He's, a, he's, say he's it. dead as asleep. You gotta turn him around. Turn me around. Do you wanna go for a walk? Yes, Hobbs. he does. Do you, wanna, do you want a treat? Treat, treat. Mom, you're you being mean. Mom, you're being mean. Do you want to go for a walk? Oh, oh, she said it. Walk? She said it. Okay, okay. Now we gotta go. Sorry, we'll see you. <laughs> Guys, I am at Fitness Culture right now. Every day at about 2.30, Morgan and I have a talk where she's waking up because it's like 6.30 her time. This is what you gotta do in a long distance relationship, huh, babe? We're just doing the damn thing. Doing the time. Yeah. So we talk at like 2.30 and then I'm gonna go get a workout in. Today's a very special vlog because we're going back to college. I'm gonna be trying out for college football to see if I still got it today. I'm gonna go test my uh, 225 on the bench right now. Really? Yeah, baby. What do you think about that? I mean, you're young enough you could be in college. I'm old enough that I could be your daddy. Say it, say, who's your daddy? No. <laughs> I'm not old enough to be your dad, don't worry guys. 12 years. I was talking to Cass about this yesterday. If you had kids with your first wife, they would be 10 years younger. That's a me. really cool thing to talk about. Talking with your friend about if I had, yes, I was married before. <laughs> For you guys watching, I was married at 21. Imagine if you had a 13 year old kid. If you had a 13 year old kid. Oh my and gosh. I was dating If you, you were my stepmom when I was 13, that would have been insane. I couldn't follow your Instagram. I'd be like, why is mom's ass everywhere on the gram? My mommy's <laughs> out All right, I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna go bench 225. You got, you get, tell the people how many things you're, I'm gonna do. 225, uh, how many kilos is that? A hundred? A hundred and, yeah, a hundred and two kilos. No, it's about 100, 101. Yeah. Thanks. Six reps. I don't know what you usually do. Babe, if I get less than 25, I'm going to be pissed. Oh, Your okay. boy, Your boyfriend's a weapon. Say it. My boyfriend's a weapon. That's right. <laughs> All right. We love you. We love her. Say goodbye to YouTube. <laughs> Bye, YouTube. All right. We are going to go bench right now. Welcome to the vlog. I just got off the phone with Morgan and like I told you guys and like I told her, today I'm going back to college. I'm gonna see if I got what it takes, what if I still got what it takes to get on the field. I was a three year starter here at Dixie State at linebacker. I weighed about 235 pounds and I would hit you. I was also probably a little bit too big. I was that bodybuilder that also played football. So back in the day, 225, I put up about 34 reps, but I don't know if, I'm, I, don't know if I was as quick and as agile back then as I am now. So today, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna test all of this good stuff, starting with the bench press. We're gonna go 225 for reps. Your average college linebacker, what I played, probably does this around 18 times. Good is anything between 20 to 25. Anything over 25, I would say, is an exceptional bench press for a college guy. Then we're gonna go over to the Human Performance Lab at Dixie State. They have a beautiful brand new building. Wish they had it there when I was there. We're gonna be testing my vertical jump. How much quick twitch muscle fibers do you got to get up? It's gonna also translate into your 40 yard dash. So after we do the vertical jump, we're gonna get out with the football coach here at Dixie State. I'm gonna see if it, I got what it takes to, to run the three cone drill, the shuttle, the L drill, and the broad jump. So we got our work cut out for us today. I'm 35 years old. I'm about 20 pounds less than when I played, but I still got the quickness. I still got that explosiveness. So right now I'm gonna jump down and I'm gonna hit 225. Many reps as possible. Let's go. Purpose of this one is to see if you can get off blocks. You know, you got a big old offensive lineman. You gotta press him off of you. We tested the bench press on this. So let's go. Begging me 
for affection But just like C. Darwin, I live for natural selection Never hugs or connections, I just constrict them Oh, completely died there Didn't get as many as I wanted But I'm still not unhappy with it What was the official count? 26? We'll take it, it's not great, but we'll take it Well, it wasn't a PR It was about 10 reps off a of PR actually But we're gonna now head over to the HPC, get with the guys at Dixie State, super smart guys. Gonna go over there, play around in this awesome lab. Let's go check it out. All right guys, back here at Dixie State, my alma mater. We're in the Human Performance Center in the lab here. So this is like sports science. This is the biomechanics lab. This is gonna tell you where you're maybe not as efficient, maybe where you need to get better, or it just might tell you, hey, you're ready to try out for the football team again. 35 years old, ready to get back out there. So we're gonna be doing vertical jumps, some quickness drills. We're just gonna be getting ready to try out with the coaches. Let's do it. Okay, so this is where we're testing you today. Okay. This is the motion capture system. It's a three-dimensional um, capture system where whatever you do and however you move while you're jumping and while you're making your broad jumps and your active strength test, then uh, we'll be able to track you in three dimensions. There's Later no cheat on, in this. No. This is essentially what you see those guys, those NBA guys doing with all those balls all over them, the, the Y2K, you know, the, the dunking and whatnot, without all of that because technology's advanced, I guess. All right, got to tuck in the shirt so it's easier to track. Um, this is the speed collection from Gymshark. It drops the 27th. Um, it's my favorite collection of all time, just to let you guys know. We'll be wearing it, obviously, throughout this video. I've already been wearing it, so we're tucking it in. Oh, I feel faster already. Let's go, let's go. All right, stand and rest. Jump as high as you can. There you go. I even made the <coughs> sound. Uh, it's, that's when you know you're real. You got <coughs> Gotta get all that air out. So this right here, this is you standing at rest. Yep. Okay. And then you, you're making a sort of unloading motion here, mm -hmm. right? You, yep. You, uh, so that you can make a counter movement. So, so you reduce your ground forces enough to get your center of mass moving downward. That allows you to eccentrically load your muscles. And so you're making all this jumping impulse under eccentric conditions. Gotcha. So if you synchronize, if you watch this as it moves, your center of mass is still moving down even though you're making big forces right here because you're making them under eccentric conditions. Gotcha. You're stretching them, makes them stronger. Right from here to where you actually take off, which happens right here, then the forces are just dropping off quickly because your muscles now have become short and they're getting short very, very quickly, so they're very weak in those conditions. Mm. So that's why, you know, when someone's doing plyometrics and they do like the step down to hop up, they're overcoming a lot more eccentric than my original eccentric even because they have that extra, extra, I guess, falling and there's gravity, but there's also more mass falling from a greater distance, right? Right, well, your, your, force, your muscles are being forced to stretch. Gotcha. So if they stretch really quickly right before you, as you're contracting them, you're able to produce more force. Gotcha. So it's called a stretch shortening cycle. It's the basis of plyometric training. So there is that YouTube clip um, of the guy doing the NFL combat, and it literally looks like he's suspended in air. Go ahead and roll that footage. Crazy, right? He's just floating up there. There's also one of a coach on the sideline who jumps as a player comes underneath of him and also looks like he's suspended in air. Guys are gonna go low at the knees and we already saw the film. There it is, we knew what he was gonna do. Cleared with ease. What do you guys make of that? That's what I'm like, like how are these people doing that? Is it just that they're, cause it seems like they're staying at the apex of their height on the, of their jump for a while. Is that just because it's slowed down so much or what? Yeah, so I look at the same videos you're talking about. They're fascinating to me. I think it is because it's slowed down. Yeah. Uh, the other thing that ends up happening is you're, the only thing that's really governed by the projectile motion equations is your center of mass. So you can move your limbs around in the air and that's fine. So when you're reaching for this, for example, you're gonna reach as high as you can with one of your arms. You'll yeah. notice, you'll notice, and maybe I shouldn't say this before you do it because I don't want to poison the well, but. When you're reaching maximally with one limb, your other one's gonna be down right. as low as you can get it and your toes probably will even be extended because the center of mass has to be where it is thanks to your takeoff. Gotcha. To get that mass up there, other mass has to come down okay. to balance it out. God, so so that's the kind of thing that's happening in the air. Right. That coach, for example, you know, if he's probably like lifting his yeah. feet right at that second because he's like trying not to get wiped right. out. So he's keeping his legs up and then, okay, that makes sense. It looks like those people are flying though, right? <laughs> yeah, for sure. Go ahead, stand your rest. Jump whenever you're ready. Out, weak sauce. 
deep. I did not like that jump. I felt like things were moving wrong. And I hurt my abs too. <laughs> we're taking off, taking off the hat for this one. All right, I'm getting to that red one. I can feel it. I'm getting to that red one. You jump whatever you want. What are we at right now? What we got? Is each one of those a half inch? Each one of the reds is six inches, so you're about I'm just, five and a half inches. So I'm like 10 one right now. Yeah. Come on, man. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Thought jumped out of my shoes there. I think I'm good. I don't think I'm going any higher. <laughs> I should uh, like walk for it or push a couple of them. So right now he's at 84 inches. He went up seven, eight inches. So his reach is at like 90, 92. Reach is 92. Yep. Which is not. Yeah. <laughs> so that's 29. Ah! Drive me nuts. 29. Is that right? My math is. Yep. Yeah. It is right. 29 inches. So according to the Vertec, which I'm not happy with right now, I'm not a big fan of the Vertec, 29 inch vertical. We're, though, we're gonna combine that with uh, the plate um, and to see exactly how accurate this measurement is, which this has been used in just about every single combine, you know, NFL prep, NBA prep. Like this thing it should be pretty close, but you can cheat it a little bit. So if I have less than 29 inches on the, on the plate, <sighs> I gotta get I gotta get in the weight room and do some more squats. So genetically there's there's gonna be like some range that's Potential accessible that you to you. You mm -hmm. know, mine's probably looks like this and yours is gonna be up here and then you have your like your same bolts and yep. those people that are just your like, Tyreek Hill, which is like <laughs> potential and then he's probably close to his potential because he's in the NFL and trains a lot, so that's and, cool. And and those athletes they're gonna have a steeper yep. yeah, it's just much more accessible to them. And I, I, I say this all the time, like Genetically, some people, you know, are, are meant to be an Olympian bodybuilder because they have more muscle fibers. I get questions on this all the time on Instagram. I would never have been the world 100 meter sprint champion because of my body type, because of my quick twitch muscle fibers. Genetically, I'm not as, as gifted as Usain Bolt, but you still have the ability to maximize your own potential. Everyone's got a spectrum. Athletically, you know, whatever it is that you're looking at, there's that genetic versus environmental factors, and both of them play a role into that. And so the reason we train hard, the reason we eat right is because we want to maximize our own potential. It's you versus you at the end of the day. If you can hit your head on that wire, that's great. 28.1. Oh, we gotta do that again. Try to do 29.3. Oh, that's pretty accurate. We gotta get 30. I'm gonna be here. So there's my competitive side coming out. I will just do something over and over. Like growing up, we had to stop. Like we were so bored, seven kids. Like we had to sit around stopwatch time. Who could start and stop a stopwatch the fastest? Got pretty heated in my house. Just testing jump height using another method, time of flight method. So, this could um, be cheated also, but not, but not, I don't think as easily. I'm as gonna the try to cheat this one, and I'm going to bend my knees on the way down so it gives me a little bit more time. We'll see if it works. <sighs> Let's go! Let's go! Love the cheat. <laughs> Take the cheating part out, man. That's a 30. <laughs> All right, so now we are, is this the fourth story? Yeah. We four, fourth yep. story? Yep. Headed up to the fifth story. We got this awesome ramp right here that, growing up, my dad, bless his heart, watched how Walter Payton trained in Mississippi running levees, and for me, my dad was like, yo, we're gonna go run hill sprints. Hated doing it at the time, but it's what, it, what, what, what builds some big quads, running up hills. Gets you faster, you can do one thing to get in shape, just find a hill and run it 10 times. Big thing here, work on mechanics. Work on mechanics and like he, like he was saying, you know, you only have so much capability with your body, how athletic you are, how much you've been training, but this, gotta clean up the technique going uphill. We're just gonna give it a go. You run this 10 times, it's gonna be a good workout, I guarantee you that. Mitch, afterwards we can race. You wanna get beat? Yeah, cuz. Time it? I'm to time it. Okay, so, got some good news that I might be faster than your average Dixie State student, which is hopefully a thing. But he said he doesn't think anyone's gotten under six seconds, so. We're gonna give it a go. 
All right, this one's for time. I got some eligibility. Four, 34. He said he hadn't seen anyone do it under six, but those are just average Dixie State students, which if you're an average Dixie State student out there, no hate, but I'm gonna beat you on this. What's good? Good morning. We are back at my home field here at Dixie State College. So I played here 07, 08, 09. We didn't win a lot of ball games, but developed some character, had some super great relationships with people that are long lasting. And honestly, one of, one of those times in my life that I look back on it, it was so vital to who I became. So we're back out here today. You know, we're on the stomping ground. Things look a little bit different. We didn't really have that big, beautiful stadium over there, but we got, we got Coach Pete in the house. We're here, we're gonna run through some drills. We're gonna see yeah, how I do. Yeah, you do. I'm thinking, uh, you guys do that, the, what is it, the three cone yeah, drill? Yeah, we can do the five, 10, five pro drill. All right, let's do that, let's do that. I'm thinking, uh, I gotta get under four, four. Under four, four. We're doing it. Do this legit. Let's go, I, yeah. let's go dude, let's go. You know what? I would have loved to play for him as a coach because he's just got great energy. He played quarterback at Boston College. We actually both went to Snow College. We were both Badgers. Did you do True Badger night ever? True Badger, I'm a True Badger, <laughs> absolutely. With my wife, True Badger. Hey, that's legit. I think uh, I became a True Badger with some girl whose favorite color was rainbow, if that tells you anything. So uh, anyhow, we're gonna get after it right now. Again, I gotta go 4-4 four, four here. 4-4. Four, four. We ran a 4 7 one forty the other day outside. We can actually roll that footage right now. 4 7 one electronically at the park. Don't know how accurate that is, but I gotta go. You, you figure people are about two tenths of a second faster than this in their 40? Or is yeah, it just all yeah, dependent? If you're, getting, if you're getting low fours in this, you're moving. You're moving pretty all right, fast. let's yeah. do it. Mid fours is okay. Mid fours is okay? Yeah. Linebackers? Four three six. Four three six. We gotta break four three. There is if you're getting ready for this, if you're if you're a guy going to the NFL, you're not watching this video. But if you are uh, wanting to get out there and do this, this is all about steps. So you're gonna be crossing over one, two, come down and touch, back through, and then back through the line just as fast as possible. He's checking off that watch when we go. So I'm feeling a high four two, like four two nine. It's gonna be the best one. I had a buddy. 4-1 in this, fastest time I've seen. Uh, I gotta run through that line. Shirts are dumb, shirts are dumb. Ah. Not giving him anything. You're not gonna be quick on the end. I don't care who he is, dude. You gotta <laughs> earn it, you gotta earn it, you know? Yeah, that's the best. So you're here, we're gonna be coming up, sprinting around this cone, coming on the inside, staying nice and low, coming here back on the outside, and then just bring it home. This one's a lot of change in direction. Gotta open up those hips, get around things, and accelerate. This is that uh, D end, outside linebacker, dip the shoulder, come around, get to the quarterback. We gotta get to, we're gonna see the field next year. We gotta get to 4 6. <laughs> Woo! 4 5! 4 5, seat at the table, let's go! Look at, look at, look at. Broad jumps, broad jumps all about that arm action. Hips coming through. Everything we do training wise, you know, we're gonna go shoulder width apart. Now, growing up, football wise, we did a lot of hand cleans because how many times in football are you playing from this position? This just, this is, you know, unless you're really pounding the ground playing defense in basketball, you're really just about here. You gotta be quick, you gotta be quick. First step should always be forward. We don't want, we don't want this. Go downhill, play downhill. This is gonna be all about that hip explosion, getting those hips through, throwing the arms. Let's see what we get here. That's pretty explosive. I don't know, that might be the best one. I only got a couple in me. That's the biggest difference, as you get older, you just can't duplicate it. Well, you might be good for one. I'm not as good as I once was, but I'm as good once as I ever was. Thank you, Toby Keith. Oh, 
What you're about up. there, Coach? Is that about nine? Nine yeah, two, nine no, three? You're, you're a little more so so this would be this would be nine at the edge right here. Your heels, okay. your heels are about right there, see? So nine three? Getting overnight, yeah. Nine three. Jump, we'll take it. Over over nine feet, I'll take it. So we're 30 inches on the vertical. Best time on the on the shuttle, the three cone shuttle was Yeah, you got the you got the 419. 419? That might be a PR right there. And then uh four five four five. Four, five nine. Four or five nine on the L, so all I know is I can already feel myself wearing that red again coming out. Captains holding hands, we go out and meet the refs. I'll tell you what, if you're playing football right now, if you're playing any sport, next time you step out onto the field, just close your eyes, smell the turf, smell the grass, pay attention to the sound. All of that goes away like this. So don't ever take that for granted because one day it'll be over. Yeah. So biggest thing with this, we got we got coach now, he's gonna be spitting balls. Now I mean, coach played quarterback, so essentially he could be out here just throwing dimes to me, right and left. But we got this cool machine here, so coach's arm doesn't fall off. But biggest thing, biggest thing in this, no BC being. What is BC being? Can't body catch like a bitch. No body catch like a bitch here. Let's go. Make a little workout out of it. Make a little workout out of it. Make a little workout out of it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, I dropped it. That's five burpees. That's five burpees. Let's go. Oh, got to get in football shape. Got to get in football shape. I'm playing. I'm playing slot. Tied in. I'm flexed out. I'm a flexed out tied in right now. And uh, we're gonna put that 4740 to the test. Coach is just gonna drop it on me. Go. Let me make you Woo! There we go. There we go. Get it. Get it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Sideline, I'm with the wide receiver. What we got? You know, now listen, throwing 55 yards is no joke. Oh, I'm not, no, not a lot of people can throw that far. I'm serious. Kids, if they, if they get even half decent height, we're doing that. But coach, your wide receiver makes a long touchdown catch. You're on the sidelines. It's just, hey, good job. Or give That's him what little... you're supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, yeah, all right, have five. You're, you're not like jumping up to like there's some yeah. coaches that get like crazy. No, I'm like this. You okay. Yeah, stay the same. Like you're right. supposed to do that. Yep. You know? Don't gas them. Yeah. <laughs> you. you <laughs> that's what you get. It's like you did your job. Yeah, there you, go. you caught that ball. Quarterback, good ball. Receiver, good grab. Defense, you're up. Go, go get a three and out. Let's do it. So, did I make the team? I make the team. Yeah. Practice roster. Damn no. it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We'll put him in. We'll put him in for sure. I'm gonna be like Rudy Rudiger. <laughs> Just strap it up. <laughs> go get a sack. <laughs>